I don't know if I'm gonna upload this video, but I thought it was kind of cool. The obsessive tape. Hello, everybody. Yes, this looks creepy. Welcome back to the Obsessive DP. This video, we're gonna do something pretty cool. Something I just literally just thought about just now. We're gonna pit this Ryobi flashlight light, oh dang that's bright, up against the production light that I normally use. So right now all I'm using is my backlights. There's no key light on me, just probably this laptop a little bit. Yeah, it's lighting a little bit. I apologize. I know this is a DP channel. I know this is a cinematography channel. We're about to get back up to a normal look, but I didn't want to tip you guys off. I want you guys to try to guess which one is the Ryobi flashlight and which one is the normal production light. So let's get started. All right, so I turned off I turn off my backlights so you can see a difference. I currently have light number A on, light number? Light letter A on right now. Check it out, see how it looks. Does it look like my normal setup? Does it look like something new? I don't know, it's up to you. So how I have this set up, I don't think I've actually told you guys this. I actually have a four by four bounce right here and I'm bouncing the lights into it and then the light's coming back on my face. So I know I never have a direct source. Uh, I don't like direct sources as much. Maybe if you have a giant soft source, but if you can bounce, you have enough light to bounce, I would recommend that. The light level I'm getting right now, I'm gonna check that, see my Lux light level right now. My Lux right now on my face is a whopping 30 Lux right there. That's what I'm reading, 30.9. Um, from light number, light number A, light letter A, let's do light letter B. All right, light letter B, not number, letter B, I'm getting a total of, uh, instead of 30 lux, I'm getting 150 lux out of the bad boy that's lighting me right now that I have not revealed yet. So 150 versus 30, definitely a brightness difference. Um, let's do one more test. All right, so now I'm testing color temperature, right? I'm seeing where we're landing at. Number B is at 5,500 Kelvin and about 156 green shift. So the green shift, 156, 5,500 Kelvin. Now let's do light letter A. All right, so light letter A is definitely different. It's coming at 6,200 Kelvin and then 200, come on, and two, 45 green shift so definitely a different color now I'm not revealing which is which yet um, but I will say that no I'm not gonna say anything <laughs> I'm just gonna let you keep guessing so side by side here they are now a and B I may have changed some ISO values uh, if you know what <laughs> if you understand Lux you know I obviously changed some ISO values between them to kind of make them match on screen um, the great reveal is one right now, A is the flashlight. The one you're looking at right now is obviously the flashlight. Ooh, that's bright. So the flashlight was shining against the four by ultra bounce here. It's actually a foam core, the four by foam core here. I had it a lot closer. My normal light is actually all the way back here. All right, here's both on me now. Ooh, bright. So I think that was pretty obvious to be honest. I don't know if I'm gonna upload this video, but I thought it was kind of cool just cause hey, I, I could use this. Let's say my production light dies. This isn't the worst thing in the world. It's definitely doesn't have as wide of a beam. It's not filling the four by as much as the production light does. Obviously not as bright, 150 lux versus 30 lux. But it's a cool alternative. Let's say if I was in a bind, it's not, it's not impossible. I probably need to really match that like six or seven of these <laughs> probably because you actually it, the light doesn't double like if I had four of these it wouldn't it wouldn't quadruple it wouldn't go to 120 um that's not how light works but it's usable right <laughs> I mean you tell me was that stupid was that a stupid video I'll do more of these if you guys like it uh stay obsessed <laughs> 